Hi everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to redo the particle system force field video. Uh, I when I did record that video it was kind of low quality so I'm going to redo it real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to effects, we're going to go to particle system force field and we're going to zero out the position and then if we go to our scene view we'll see it right in the middle but we don't see anything happening because we don't have an actual particle system. So the next thing we'll do is add the particle system, go to effects, particle system, and then with the particle system uh, now active, uh, we still don't see anything happening. So what we could do is we go down here on the particle system, we go all the way down to external forces, we check the box, and then we, could, we have a multiplier, an influence filter, and an influence mask. So we can have this be on a layer mask uh, up here, so we could choose it to be only affect a certain layer so like a particle force field layer or we could just go to list and add a particle system force field so we'll add this force field now we added the force field but we still don't see any changes so the reason for that is because we didn't zero out this z axis so technically if we look over here as you can see the force field is over here and our, I mean, uh, our particle system is over here and our force field is over here. So it's not being affected at all by it. So we could just zero out this position and you could see it's working now. So I'm gonna go back to 2D view. And as you can see, it started working now. And to be able to, to kind of change these values and see them actually update in real time, what we could do is we'll lock this force field so just go up here and click on the lock and then we'll go to the particle system and now we can see the actual force field or the actual particle system moving and we got this uh, tab right here so we could adjust now so now we got the shape so the shape of the actual force field we could make it a hemisphere we could make it a cylinder uh, a box now this don't look like a cylinder because it's in 2d mo mode but if you see 3d mode it's it's a cylinder so for now, we're just going to leave it as sphere and then start range and end range. So the end range is this circle out here. The start range, since it's at zero, it's right in the middle. So let's adjust the end range. And now we could adjust the start range. As you can see, it's right in the middle. Now, as you can see, the particle system stays within this end range, but stays closer to the start range. Now we could add direction. So if we want it to move, let's say to the right, we just add the direction and it goes to the right. If we wanted to go to the left, just uh, put it on the negative side. The Y, if you wanted to go uh, straight up, if you want to go straight down, put it into the negative side. So it starts going straight down. Now the Z axis, since this is 2D, you won't be able to see it. But if I go to 3D and you go to the positive side, it shoots it backwards. Because if you see this blue arrow, this is the forward side of the Z. So the positive side of the Z, if we go to the negative, it's the opposite, which would go back down this way. So as you can see, now it's on the negative side. And let's go to zero. Now there's gravity. Gravity is just, um, if you put it on the negative, it shoots, it shoots out the particles. If you have it at zero, nothing really happens. So this, for instance, this particle system force field is not really doing anything. If we have it, you know, adjust the strength more. We can see gravity uh, taking more part into the for uh, force field. Now we could adjust the focus. So this is where uh, the particle system is focusing on. So we could adjust it so it could kind of focus on the outer side, the inside, whatever we want. Leave it at zero so it could just focus in the middle. Now we, we might not be able to see this because of, um, let me set this back to one or even 0.5 because of um, this is rotation and these are little circle particles, but let me adjust it. Well, you can see it, see it starts rotating. So we could rotate it. There's attraction. So if it's at zero, it has no attraction to anything. If you put it at, you know, the more attraction you, you set it to, the more it shoots out, but it's also rotating. Let me go to 2D. So as you can see, it rotates a little bit and then it shoots out. If I put this back to, let's say zero, or actually back to one, and this attraction back to zero, 
let me put it at a very low value so you could see it kind of going in circles in rotation we could adjust the randomness on the x-axis so on the left right axis so something like that so you can see it's randomizing the rotation on the x and then if i adjust it down here we can see on the y so now it's rotating kind of like up and down instead of left to right and then there's drag drag is like a i usually say like a weight but a better way to explain it would be an air resistance so let me turn off gizmos so like uh, air resistance so it kind of slows down the the actual object so look if i increase the strength it slows down the actual particle system so as you can see it's slowing it down it's adding some air resistance to it let me set this at one and then we could multiply the strength by the size or we can multiply it by the velocity so we don't have to uh, multiply it by either one but we can if we want to now vector field i didn't talk about this in the previous video but vector field, what that is, sorry about that, I was deleting a previous model that I had for a previous tutorial. Now vector field, to create a vector field, what you could do is, I'm going to show you an example with this pixel bird. Um, I showed you that it's on the Unity Store. So, um, so this pixel bird asset, it's from the Unity Asset Store. If you want to download it, it's called Landscape Tiles and Birds Free by Ken and Jean. I talked about this in a previous video um, the file size it's very small it the release date was a couple years ago uh, it's supported by 2017 or higher it's not bad it has 64 pixel and 128 pixel png six birds three frames each clouds and uh, if we go back to the project all this landscape these tiles this background that well not the background the clouds the tiles this is all from that package so to create this uh, volume texture, and if you hover over it, it says this texture is used for the vector field. So to make a 3D texture, what you would do is you would have a PNG. So let me unlock this. So you'd have this, this is just a, like a square block PNG. And then what you would do is you would import it. You would t change the texture ch type, texture type from Sprite 2D and UI to default and then texture shape to 2D, from 2D to 3D. And then you just hit apply. And then you can see this little square vi uh, view. Now we have an actual 3D object instead of uh, a little 2D square where you can't actually rotate or move this because it's just an image. This is an actual, you know, model per se now. So if I, well, I can't drag it in because this is an actual texture. But anyways, if you go to the force field and you apply this now, you could add a texture. Now this one will really won't do anything because it's just a little square. But with that, with the texture set, what you could do is, let me rotate this. So what you could do with the texture set is you could, you know, change the speed and it will, like this square, it is, um, the speed is going around in a square fashion, like this texture is. And then you can have the attraction so it could either leave the square or it could stay in the square per se. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the particle system force field. I apologize for the uh, the video, um, the previous video that was uh, low quality. Uh, hopefully this video was a little better. And uh, just I just wanted to mention as well is that once you have your, your particle system or your force field set, you could always adjust different settings here. So it doesn't always have to be, you know, just the force field. So now I could like adjust the start size per se. So now I have a different start size or actually I completely turned off the start size. But what I could do is let's say I wanted a random between two, two numbers, two constants. So let's say I want the start size to be somewhere between 0 0.2 and 1. So now you can see I got different particle sizes going on. And then we could, you know, you could just change different settings here, whatever you want. Uh, for example, another one would be um, color over lifetime. We could change that. Uh, this is a, a gradient. So, you know, you could just change it however you want. Let's say we want it to start off white. We want it to end up turning some like cyan blue. And then add another one. Let me see if I add it. No, 
add another one and we want this one to be some kind of red and then we'll just top it off with the yellow or some kind of green and yeah pretty much and there's your little scene like i said just adjust it how you think would be best remember to lock this uh, particle system force field and click on the particle system so you could see it play and you will be able to you know adjust your values accordingly and yeah hopefully this video helped hopefully this video is a lot better quality if you guys like this video hit the like button if you learned something hit that like button uh if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button hit that bell um, icon so you can see the videos as soon as i post them uh, also i mentioned this before i'll leave a description below of the link i got a website robustgames.com i post uh free assets there i try to do it once a week sometimes it's once every two weeks well i'll, I'll post some assets i got right now i think i got sprites i got some code some codes or scripts um i got some sound effects i tried to add some 3d models i couldn't so uh, i'll probably just add it to itch.io and maybe the unity asset store so you guys could download free assets but uh yeah check out that robust it's robust hyphen games.com check it out subscribe that way you could get notified when i post a new asset i'm also going to be posting particle system particle force fields maybe some kind of rain system snow systems stuff like that so just subscribe to get uh updated once again thank you